Once again, we thank you for tuning in to what should be an absolutely stellar weekend of hockey here in the hotbed of the sport, Boston, Massachusetts. And as we're just about set for some hockey, let's get the 49th annual Codfish Bowl Tournament underway as the faceoff is eventually won back into the Beacons defensive zone where it can be taken and moved forward by Cornell. All the way down into the Beacon zone where it's taken there by Cam Harvey, one of the assistant captains for Peter Belial's team. You'll hear an interview with the head coach of these Beacons, Peter Belial, who has them red hot. That'll be coming at the first intermission. And now the Beacons with a two-on-one, perhaps the other way. Quick chance and a great left-to-right move is denied by the netbound minder as that was a great move out there by number 27, Kit Sitterly. And then a goal off the great one-touch pass and a one-timer by the Beacons. And just like that, a minute 24 in, UMass Boston has taken a one to nothing lead. Office beating the man down there was number 20, Stanton Turner, but the Beacons get control, and here is Milam. Milam looking to center it to the far side, they score! Short-handed! What a goal by Tyler Bishop, the freshman defenseman! For the 5'11", inch Ramsey, New Jersey native, it's goal number 2, point number 5, and it's 2 nothing UMass Boston here in the semifinal round of the 49th Annual Codfish Bowl. Malara Connor continues to fight after it. He's from Philadelphia, and they fight as this one comes back behind the net. And how about Connor McStravick? He is an unbelievable little fourth liner. And just like that, the Beacons will go to the power play, forcing a cross check with great play behind the net. And it's going to be called on John Stauffer, the senior defenseman from Lansdale, PA. A little bit of Keystone State violence going on as the Lansdale native takes down the Philadelphia native and we will see a power play in 51 seconds. Matt with the quick shot by McIntyre, and now four on four, this is exactly what you want with Milam and McIntyre out there, although Peter loses his stick and has to go fetch one from the bench. Here's a chance at the point for Dixon, his quick shot, and that one was a knuckler, and it gave the netminder fits. Cornell keeps it in the zone, one-touch pass from Milam to Dixon, deflected in front by McIntyre just wide, now Peter has control. There's two sticks, one broken, one not, and then that's finally picked up, and now Milam from the slot, quick shot saved by Smolarik, as this duo of McIntyre and Milam with a big hit, what a deck. The alpha male on the ice is Milam, as he continues to punish the visitors here in the second period, as this one's deflected by Milam McIntyre, he scores! Peter McIntyre! 12.47 remaining in this second period after a 10-minute delay due to a leak in the roof. Right now, the Beacons unable to win the faceoff, but a good poke check to keep it in the zone after the faceoff win by Milam, and now Nathan will get it from his partner in crime, Finger. Here he comes to the point, this one Cody Dixon, Dina D pass, and now a one-touch to Milam, he scores! Nathan Milam! What a Herculean period he is having as the junior from Westland, Michigan, not only does he have two assists in this period, now he got himself a goal for Milam. It's goal number six of the season, point number 16, and it's a 4 nothing UMass Boston lead. The Beacons shining a light to the championship game as they lead by four with 12.36 remaining in period number two. The Beacons were alert, and now Daly able to center it and get it out of the zone for his partner in crime, Miller. Miller is short. He's one on three now. He'll get a little help from Daly as well as... Colucci, but a blast to the point is in! What a howitzer cannon! And who else? It's Cody Dixon, the freshman from Hales Corner, Wisconsin, with his third goal of the season. And it is all beacons all the time here in the second period. That one, top shelf, where Mama hides the cookies. It's 5 0 with 10.53 remaining. Now waiting and finds Kuhn. Mike Kuhn, center for, oh my goodness, Peter McIntyre. And it's starting to look like they are just overmatched. Peter McIntyre with his second of the game for Peter. His tenth of the season, double digits for the Beacons. The first on this team to reach that plateau. And it's 6 nothing UMass Boston. Dumps it back behind the net where it can be moved and cycled by Bishop. Good play to get it out of the zone, and now Sitterly will move forward. He'll dump this one in, and Sitterly has control. He scores! Get Sitterly! He got the pass as Sitterly got it from DeAugustine. Excuse me, 7.03 remaining, and it's a touchdown. UMass Boston, they lead 7-0 over the Suffolk Rams. A healthy as number 19 and now has 53 points, and he's only a sophomore. And we're only halfway through his sophomore season as the Beacons allow Suffolk to move forward. This quick howitzer cannon is wide to the left off the stick 
of number 18 out there. That's Woodworth, but thankfully for Suffolk, the Beacon's unable to get Daniel breaking free the other way. And now here come the visitors. And a quick shot and a goal! And the shutout is broken as a wrister off the stick of Connor Masterangelo. Elected wide by Houston, and the Beacons move forward with 115 left. Puck taken there by Cam Harvey. He lost control, but Milam is there to intercept the pass attempt there by Stevenson. And now here is McIntyre center, and they score! What a look, what a feed, what a shot, and it's 8-1 to one as it's Nathan Milam, his second of the game, fourth point of the period. And Peter McIntyre will join him with four points. It is an absolute blowout. A touchdown lead again. Eight to one at UMass Boston. Forward, that is going to be Sharpak, and now he'll get control. Behind the net, in fact, right in the alley where you can set up a one touch, but instead it's taken the other way for Grinhouse. He's got a break. Quick blast. He scores! Mark Grinhouse! Holy moly, what a shot for the fourth line center. And the Beacons are piling it on. It's 9 to 1, 16 25 remaining. Moving their skates. It's almost as if they're short handed right now on this offensive possession for the Beacons, even though they're not in a great one touch pass in front of back in. They score! And it is Travis Daniel. He gets in on the action. Excuse me, no, that's Mike Miller. Mike Miller gets in on the action as he scores his first of the game.